Are you ready to join the NBA Courtside Club to own exclusive NFTs, allowing you to talk and play with your favorite NBA players? Join the Discord now for more information and daily giveaways, including jerseys, tickets, and signed memorabilia. Link in the description. Seven point guard. Long three for ball. It's good. Well, that backcourt we alluded to has the first six points for Sharp. This is Mason Plumlee, ninth year man from Duke. Ball, another three, and another made three. He's got to extend the defense right now and be able to control those defenders, not pick up cheap fouls. They got four assisted scores as Bam rattles down a jumper. This is Rozier. One-legged jumper drops. Charlotte pitching a perfect game so far. They've hit on their first five shots. Max Struess making his fifth consecutive strike. Fires a three. Kaboom. Picking up right where he left off. Max right now 25th in the league in threes. Oh, nice move by Bridges. Euro stepping past Bam out of bio. Gabe turns the corner on Rozier. And it trickles in for him. Nice drive and finish for third year man Gabe Vincent against Cody Martin. Tucker turns the corner on Ubre. Finger rolls. P.J. Tucker, that's a hard man with a soft touch. You've got to guard them really like smaller players, like almost small forwards with their mobility. Bam, nice catch on the pick and roll from Vincent. Underneath, hammers it down. I mean, hammered that down. Caleb is defending ball, now switches. Ubra to the paint, the Euro step score. He is so long and can finish at the basket. Took him to the basket, but miss. Jimmy's over for two. Nice pass by Ball. Cody Martin hammers it down the other end. Uh, Got to get back in defensive trends. He has four points. I need him to be super aggressive here in the second quarter. McDaniel strokes him an open throw. Because they will let it fly from three. Hornets are shooting 59% in the half. Look out! Caleb Martin cleared for a baseline takeoff. Second score for, for a man who's averaging 15 points a game this year, the explosive Oubre, who's bounced around the NBA. And there's a three. Underneath, it's Butler. Good shot, Faye. It counts. Well, two plus tax. That's the way Jimmy Butler usually gets his three. He's averaging eight points a game this year. Hornets by two. Butler scooting through. Jimmy Butler, you got to play him out the edges. Hero against Plumley to the paint. Perfect. His growth, Eric, his patience and composure. Bridges sends it back to Thomas for the three. He's good. Oh, no. Isaiah Thomas. Oh. Three on the shot clock. Bridges takes his time and buries it. Eight points for Miles Bridges, only in his fourth year. Eight points for Bam, one point lead for Miami. That's a 10-footer there when he turned. The defense was right there sealing him, so good decision to let that one go early. Nice pass by Isaiah Thomas. Pick and roll work with P.J. Washington. One point Charlotte lead. 325 left first half. It's Duncan time. Kaboom. That man is something else. More of a scoring threat than I thought he was coming uh, into the NBA, Eric. He really uh, shoots the ball uh, better than his older brother, Lonzo. Oh, here, a body contact from P.J. Washington. A really good shooter, and it can stretch the floor 38% from three. You can't play him as a driver and a passer. It's amazing how open a great shooter like Duncan Robinson just was. And the backcourt of Terry Rozier and this man, LaMelo Ball. And they've done something very special that few backcourts have ever done. Important game for Charlotte. Right now they are ninth in the East. Same record as number 10, Brooklyn. They, they have a chance to gain ground on Atlanta tonight because the Hawks are go into the playoffs as the top seed for just the fourth time in franchise history. Bam on the knees. Oh, oh, look at the pump fake. And the score. He got Plumlee in a compromising position. Gabe Vincent making his 27th start of the year. Kyle Lowry getting a ninth of well-deserved rest. Bam, got another one. Bam out of bio with all five Miami points in this quarter. 
night for Bam on five for seven shooting. He got a, a great streak going of 50% games or better. Yeah, another foul on the Bridges score. I mean, that's big time change, big time production uh, for a guy uh, in his fourth season. He's having a career year in almost every way. Butler with a beautiful drive and finish. Now you got to appreciate Jimmy Butler. Here they go again. Gets into the paint, scores easily. Ball on the other end, gets it right back. Oh, they change him so quickly. 13 points for LaMelo Ball. Uh, a real reduction in his three-point uh, frequency and accuracy. Three on the shot clock. P.J. Washington with a nice flip. Just under eight minutes to play in the third quarter. Here comes Max. Got the foul in the score. Eight points for Struess. Game tied at 83. Cody Martin. I'm a flip back to LaMelo Ball. Wow. That man can make some shots. This is LaMelo Ball. Actually, that, that might have gotten deflected. Rozier inside of Bridges, hammers it down. A couple hard fouls, you know, just be more physical on the defensive end. In the Struess for the corner three. Kaboom. That is pretty. Diagonal pass to Bam against Cody Martin. There's Caleb. Kaboom. And that's what facilitated that kick out, the open shot for Caleb Martin. An 11-2 run for Miami. There's Cody Martin knocking in a three. Well, one brother does it. The other brother says, me too. I told him we all learned a lot more about the brothers Martin. And the Martin family, when you watch that edition of Inside the Heat. Tyler Hero bangs down a triple. They're 27-12 and 12 at home. Oh, Butler lost it. McDaniels took it right away from him. And scores. That's pretty impressive. Coast to coast. And that 2-3 zone, they've been in that now the last few minutes. It's paying dividends. It's slowed down the Hornets uh, and forced them into some tougher shots. Oh, Caleb. He paid a visit to Mount Caleb but missed the dunk. Here's Hero. Kaboom. Uh, not moving their body as well. And, and much, uh, very much have come to a stop. Kaboom for Duncan Robinson. Robinson's first score of the second half. He's got 21 points tonight. Two out of three games this year. Meanwhile, Atlanta trying to stay in, in, in their spot. Right now, the Hawks are, are, are number eight, and they have a one-point lead at Toronto with two and a half minutes left in that game. The full-court pressure for Charlotte's defense. They're not hoisting any white flags yet. This is too meaningful a game for them. Hero for three. Kaboom. It is raining threes in downtown Miami. Uh, it has been outstanding. John, the Heat have averaged 17 made threes a game during this four-game win streak. Hero showing you the whole menu. Mix it up with that mid-range game, and he's got uh, subtleties all within those three levels with his ball handle. That was a nice-looking tipper. 5-10 left, fourth quarter. Bam from Hero. Steps in and scores. Pretty work. Bam out of bio, 20 points to go along with eight rebounds. Taking up space, and, and they're just out of rhythm here offensively. Bridges hammered that one down. Miles Bridges with 29 points now. 127 to 108. Bam underneath. Back out to Jimmy. Let it fly. Kaboom. Jimmy Butler. Yes, sir. Just held them uh, down a bit, taking them out of rhythm. Washington scoots in for the score. It's 132 to 110, and Chris Quinn going to call a timeout. Meanwhile, the Heat with their third highest scoring game of the year right now. We still have three minutes left. In Miami's outscored Charlotte big time here in the fourth quarter. Caleb Martin hits Miami's 21st triple of the game. But Eric, you know, he can fly and finish at the rim, but when he's making those threes, that gives the coaching staff even more confidence to get him out there. One of the better Heat defenders on the perimeter. Very versatile. The Hornets will fall to 40-39. and 39. A flip-flops 